yards. Like most others in our area, we thought it was a done deal and no one ever asked us, the residents, for our input. It's so late now and many people don't have computers or email possibilities. We are emailing through our friends and sending snail mail too. Enclosed is a copy of our letter to let you know we are following up anyway. We remain your servants. All right, then the letter that um, Mrs. Mary Brockington wrote to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Please do not ignore this letter as you have the residents of this area. I live on Victory Trail Road in Gaffney, not far from the proposed nuclear plant. I was just today made aware at approximately 3 o'clock in the afternoon that there had been meetings concerning the plant being opened. No one has ever consulted anyone of my household told us of any meetings concerning this matter, and now I find that Duke Power officials have said that there have been no objections in meetings we were not informed of. Why were the residents of Victory Trail, Darby Road, Edward Road, and Barn, Old Barn Road, Grace Road, Jimmy Road, and White's Road not informed of meetings? I am writing on behalf of the many people who do not know who to object to. The only reason they have not been heard, we are the ones who will be subject to cancers from air and water pollution. And my daughter-in-law next door, my granddaughter grand and grandson living with us and their objections too. Please give us a chance most sincerely, Mary Brockington, William Brockington.